Hi everyone, I'm Eri Hernaez and we're back for another vlog. Today, I'll be taking you guys on a full day of eating as a vegan bikini athlete. I'm currently on my off-season, so the goal naman for this off-season is to pack as much muscles in the right areas as we can before we start prepping again. I ended my first season last year around October. Halos isang taon na rin akong nakabulk, but I went on a mini cut before going to Bali and then ate like an asshole in Bali. As so, balik, back to business, back in bulking. I'm currently eating around 135 grams of protein, 45 grams of fat, and 325 grams of carbs. Hatayo may iba ibang needs, ibang ibang goals and body composition. Deeper kit may nakita kayo online na ah, ganito yung ganito yung kinakain niya, ganito yung macros niya. Automatically gagayahin na natin. Yun, basically lahat tayo iba-iba. Okay, so start na tayo. The first thing that I do every morning is to drink water. Mga 700 to a liter of water every morning before I I hit the gym. So, hindi naman yan isang buong lagukan. For the whole day, my goal is to reach 4 to 5 liters of water. After na to, prep na tayo ng breakfast ko. Which also serves as my pre-workout. Breakfast natin for today is vegan tosilog. I take my pre-workout meal seriously because it's my fuel for training and it's an opportunity for us to create an anabolic environment to build muscles. So make sure that when you're making or preparing your pre-workout meal, best is to have a good amount of protein and carbs. Pakita ko na kung paano natin ginagawa yung breakfast natin. Mabilis lang to kasi ako yung tipong ta I don't wanna take too long in the kitchen. Gusto ko madali, mabilis lang gawin yung mga pagkain ko. And syempre, masarap. Yung sa tosino natin, I use Viga. Nabibili lang to sa mga supermarkets. Ito yung lagi kong binibili kasi so far sa mga plant-based products, ito yung pinaka-okay yung macros. Hindi na ako gumagamit ng oil kasi tinitipid ko na yung fat ko for later. Iheat lang natin siya dito sa pan na may konting water. Ayan. The bulk of our protein will come from scrambled tofu. Yung ingredients ng scrambled tofu, ideally black salt, kaso naubusan ako ng black salt. Kasi yun yung magbibigay ng eggy na taste. So marami yan sa Shopee, hanapin yun na lang doon. It's called black salt or kala namak. Turmeric powder. Optional lang yung nutritional yeast, pero kasi added protein din siya, kaya naglalagay ako nito. Tsaka, ang sarap nung lasa niya, nagbibigay siya ng parang umami, cheesy na lasa. Kaya, wala lang, pang padagdag lasa lang din. Mushroom powder. Tapos, pepper. Yun lang. Pwede na to. Isa sa ngag-ish ko lang yung brown rice. Wala. Tapon lang dito. Tapos, lalagyan ko lang ng konting salt and pepper and mixed veggies. Then, that's it. Ito na yung breakfast natin. Pero hindi to kompleto kung wala yung kape. <laughs> yung kape lang ni Migs yung iniinom ko pag umaga. Yan, ngayon, pakita niya kung paano niya ginagawa yung kape ko. This is our breakfast slash pre-workout meal. Busin lang natin to, then prep na for gym. Punta na tayong Pegasus after nito. We will be doing upper body day. Kaya na tayo. Nandito na tayo sa Pegasus Fitness Camp. If napanood niyo yung previous video ko, makikita niyo doon na minum tayo ng BCAA at creatine. As a vegan, this is an insurance for me na I'm getting enough leucine. BCAA maximizes the protein synthetic response. Kaya everyday during workout, nagtitake tayo nito. Then, 
Creatine. If I have an recommend na supplement to support your fitness goals, it's creatine. Creatine significantly improves our strength, powers our performance, enhances muscle hydration, and increases muscle size. 5 grams every single day. I try to limit my caffeine intake during off season kasi sure na pag naka-prep na tayo, aasa na naman tayo sa caffeine para mabuhay. Kaya I only take pre-workout during leg days. Hindi na tayo magpe-pre-workout pero pag leg days, yan, athlean pre-workout coming soon. Abangan niyo yan. Workout muna tayo and see you later. often hear the term anabolic window sa mga gym bros. Tinasabi doon na within 15 to 30 minutes post-workout, kailangan mo kumain ng protein, kailangan mo umin ng protein shake, or else hindi mo maximize yung muscle growth. Or sayang yung workout mo kasi hindi siya mag-result to muscle gain. In reality, there are studies saying na the anabolic window is not as close to 15 to 30 minutes, but it's really between 2 to 6 hours after consuming your pre-workout meal. Say for example, na you ate your pre-workout meal around 11 a.m., so yung anabolic window natin is gang 4 p.m. Considering na yung pre-workout natin is high protein then. Pero for me, wala rin naman masama kung immediately ka rin mag-consume ng protein. Pero yun nga, hindi rin natin kailangan i-pressure yung sarili natin na oh shit, kailangan ko ng kumain ng protein or else walang kwenta yung training ko. Usually, yung routine ko is immediately pag prep na agad ng meal. For today's lunch, we will be having air fried tofu with crispy fry broccoli, and gravy. Minimal prep, mobilis gawin, and konti lang ingredients na gagamitin. Yan kadalasan yung mga gusto kong type na pagkain. Isa sa mga staples namin dito sa bahay is itong McCormick na beef and herb gravy. To accidental vegan friendly tong gravy na to. Wala siyang animal products. Tapos, sa isang pack, 60 calories lang siya. Sabaw levels yung, yung gravy mo dito. And masarap siya. Kaya, lagi kami may ganito. Super dali lang siyang i-prep. Like, lagyan mo lang siya ng hot water. And then, yun na. Yun na yun. Tapos na yung tofu natin. Papakuloan ko na lang siya. Parang steam Ko na lang yung broccoli. I buy frozen broccoli kasi cheaper siya than the fresh ones. Hindi ko na nilalagyan ng seasoning, pero kung trip nyo lagyan pa ng asin-asin, yun yun. Go! Pero ako kasi, since medyo maalat-alat na tong gravy, okay na yan. This is our lunch. Here's another way to cook tofu na super easy, minimal prep, minimal ingredients, mabilis lang lutuin and hype in protein. Isa to sa mga favorite meals ko. Halos araw-araw, ito na yung kinakain ko. I don't really mind because it's really good. Next meal natin, mga one to two hours after this, snacks natin na yun. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> it's time for my snack and kakain tayo ng pinya. Isa to sa mga staples sa pantry namin. Lagi akong may fruits. Another way for me to increase my fiber intake. Although, I limit my fiber to 50 grams. Minimum of 20 grams and then maximum of 50 grams. Anything too much, hindi rin naman maganda. This is my third high protein na consume for the day. I distribute my protein in around 4 to 6 meals para mas ma-maximize yung anabolic potential. 
After na to, magluluto na tayo ng dinner. Natamad pa tayo magluto ng dinner, kaya snack muna tayo. Okay, wag, wag, wag. Cocoa crunch and walnuts. Dinner time. Si Migs gagawa ng dinner ko. Ano bi dinner ko? Adobong <laughs> I use nut legs kasi mas mababa yung fat niya compared sa oil. Kaya yun, tsaka mas masarap. Nagbusan na kami ng toyo tsaka suka. Kaya apple cider and kiko man yung gagamitin namin. Masarap pa rin naman. Instead of sugar, splenda. Maraming garlic. Ito na yung lahat ng kinakain ko for me to build muscles on a plant-based diet. Just make sure to hit your protein, hit your calories, kill your training, and be patient. Maging consistent lang tayo lagi sa program. And then, um, I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. And kung may mga natutunan kayo, please like and share this video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye!